Hey guys, Brian here. Um, just gonna finish up uh, my, sort of my intro and uh, talk to you guys sort of about my schooling and I guess um, sort of my background and, and like my professional background and stuff like that. So uh, I think I probably started uh, doing sketching like when I was in grade 12, like sketching from life uh, really. I I think I had a sketchbook uh, from pretty early on, but uh, it was mostly just drawings from my imagination, which uh, I think was is kind of limiting because I wasn't learning anything new. I was just uh, practicing the same thing over and over again, and uh, not really picking up anything new. So uh, I think yeah, I think around grade 12, that's when I started. Uh, Picking up sketchbooks and uh, just really drawing a lot, and uh, just taking it with me. And uh, after after high school, I went into illustration for a while, and I graduated from that. But I I don't know I I still had a had a real love for drawing, and I would always look at um, what 2D animators would be doing, and I really liked their drawings and how they approach drawing. So uh, I was uh, I was getting more and more influenced by the animation side of things, and um, originally, or I guess eventually, I, uh, I I did go into animation, but I went into uh, computer animation. And I, I studied computer animation for for a year, and um, my my interest in drawing didn't uh, didn't waver. So uh, even though I was studying 3D and I was studying to do 3D, uh, drawing seemed to be something that I liked more. So uh, I after after graduating, I sort of Look for 2D work and not 3D work, which was just kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I was always interested in drawing and wanted to get better at drawing, so uh, I kept I kept drawing for many many years, a lot of practice. And uh, for I don't know for people starting out, uh, say like don't get discouraged because I I have some. I have a lot of sketchbooks of pretty uh, crude and ugly drawings in them, and uh, I don't know. It's taken me years and years to get to here, and uh, a lot of repetition. So, and if you're just starting out, uh, I mean, you can give it a shot because um, sketchbook is a nice place to experiment, and uh, I mean, you don't have to show anyone your your sketchbook. Uh, Usually, even now, sometimes I don't show people my sketchbook because it's it's like a personal place where you record um, things that for you, not it's not necessary for everyone else. It's not it's not like a portfolio piece, or though it could be, uh, but it's it allows you to think on paper uh, in a personal way, and um, I mean it's it's good for experimentation. So. Um, when you learn certain things, you can you can try them out a lot when you're sketching, or you can try and uh, break certain rules. So, uh, I mean, for example, um, I recently uh, heard or yeah, heard in a lecture that there's no such thing as composition, and uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe when I was younger, I, I might not have agreed with it so easily, but I'm finding that um, it's it's a fair statement because um, depending on uh, I think depending on what you're drawing for and what you're trying to emphasize, that dictates your composition. And there's no rule on how you should compose things. There, there's certain guidelines on. Uh, like you know, splitting space up into thirds, or uh, using overlap, or 
making it interesting by splitting it up your composition in different ways but do you have to follow that? Well I'm finding that you don't have to like I, I could put something on in the center of the page and that's fine but usually that's that's like the number one rule that you learn in art school when you first go there like oh don't put anything in the center of the page but sometimes you want something in the center of the page so um, let's see what else I got here um, so my drawing now I think it's it's more geared towards uh, the animation side of things and um, what I mean by that is um, I think there's quite a bit of caricature or at least I try to put caricature into my drawing and what I mean by that is I'm not exactly drawing exactly what I see so um, if someone's standing or bending over or something like that um, I'm not just looking at it and trying to copy what's there I, I might uh, emphasize certain lines and de-emphasize certain lines to make it stronger and uh, I, I think this is a like sketching is a it's a good uh, it's a good vessel for exploring this and uh, I mean my my drawing's been going more towards uh, the animation side of things uh, for quite a while now I used to draw very detailed drawings um, like uh, like faces and I'd be trying to capture the exact likeness and stuff and now it's more like I'm trying to uh, just capture it in, in a very simple manner like just trying to get the essence so uh, I don't know, drawing for me is it's more about designing now than it is about um, but just capturing what you see. And I don't in a, in a way I think that makes uh makes it a little more interesting because uh if you can if you can capture what you're drawing in an abstract way, you can later apply that into something else. Uh whether that be um uh, like I don't know, right now we're seeing a group of people there and this person walking and it's like, well, what if I needed to draw that later on? But it was with a character. If I if I can figure out how to capture that pose in an abstract way, I can use that abstract and put a different model on it. And I mean I guess that's something you do a lot in in animation, so maybe that's why my drawing is going more towards that and uh... looks like we're coming to the end of this video here so uh... just gonna let you guys watch and we're out